A lie factory was the analogy often used by the Ukrainian officials when they talk about Russia's efforts on the information front. Ukraine's Deputy Minister of Information Policy Dmitry Zolotukhin and his colleagues have spent the last four years collecting and analyzing the data on the activity of the Kremlin's propaganda machine directed against Ukraine. The results were published in what the ministry calls the White Book. We are attempting to strengthen the position of people who work to counteract disinformation, to show them with less investment they can get better results. Each of the book's ten chapters is a series of materials that focuses on a specific topic or story and how it developed over the years. For instance, the series on flight MH17 downed by the Russian-backed forces in Donbass spans three seasons. And in each of them, the Russian propaganda pushes a completely different version of events. From the civilian airliner being downed by a Ukrainian fighter plane to the whole story being an elaborate CIA plot. This series of lies is yet to reach its conclusion, says Zolotukhin. This summer, the JIT, the Investigative Commission, is planning to release the interim or final conclusions of its investigation. Now the groundwork is being done to prepare the information space in terms of the reaction of the international community than that of Russia. Other Kremlin-produced misinformation campaigns against Ukraine include fake news about Kyiv's role in training Islamic terrorists, about NATO's troops fighting in Donbass, as well as many stories spun in attempt to stir conflicts between Ukraine and EU member states. The authors explored different areas of work, but now they compile them. And because it's becoming much more difficult to verify the facts, because you need to consider the history of not one fake, one area, but three or four. 2019 will be all about fake news relating to the upcoming elections in Ukraine. The drive towards entry into NATO, the European Union and so on, which were designed five years ago, and which the president and government are promoting now, these are the main themes of propaganda with which we are faced. Critical thinking when consuming any kind of information is vital to avoid becoming a victim of fake news. The main way to protect yourself from fakes and propaganda is to ask a lot of questions. Why do I see it? Why do I read it? Who is the material's author? Where is it published? What kind of resource is it? Is there information preceding it? And if not, why not? The authors of the White Book admit that relatively few people follow these rules. In the meantime, the book contains a myriad of anti-Ukrainian myths on ten different topics already debunked. Later this year, the book will be presented abroad. Reported by Ihor Medelian, UATV.